Today, I want to share with you my top five favorite children's books about space. If you want to get a kid in your life interested in the cosmos, these books will do it. First off, a couple of honorable mentions. This is Child of Galaxies, and it's actually a poem. I've been reading this to my son since he was something like six months old. It kind of makes me emotional, and I actually give it as a gift to a lot of new parents. Really great, great place to start with young kids. One more honorable mention is the National Geographic Visual Galaxy Coffee Table book. This is obviously not a kid's book. It's not something I read to my son, but the images are absolutely stunning, and he goes through and just looks at it randomly and has all these great questions about black holes and faraway galaxies in the sun, and it's just a really good book to have lying around. Number five is Star Stuff, and this is actually the story of Carl Sagan, the world-renowned astrophysicist. I think it's really relatable because it's actually about a kid who grows up to study space, and that's something most kids can kind of engage with and enjoy. Number four is I Am a Black Hole, and for whatever reason, kids find black holes fascinating. This is a really simple rhythmic introduction to the idea that can lead to a lot of other great discussions. This is actually a library copy. We've checked this thing out something like eight times at this point. I should probably just buy it. Number three is 100 billion trillion stars, and that's a massive number. It's hard for even adults to grasp that scale, let alone kids, but it is a start to understanding the vastness of the universe. This is actually a really fun one to read to kids. I read this to my son's entire first grade class and they absolutely loved it. Did you know there's an entire planet entirely inhabited by robots? It's Mars. And number two on our list is about one of those robots. It's Goodnight Oppie. It's about the Opportunity rover we sent up to Mars about its collection of various scientific data, sending those back to NASA, battling dust storms, and eventually its last ping of data before it was retired. It's a really cute story. My son, uh, we started reading this together when he was one and a half, and he still loves it to this day. Really great book. Okay, so this won't be a big surprise, but number one is my book, Milo and the Midnight Meteorite. And I absolutely love teaching kids about space through the lens of the space rocks that fall to Earth. We're talking about rocks that are billions of years old, sometimes older than the planet we are standing on. And you can actually see and hold and touch and learn about them. And it's just a great introduction to space and all the, the wonder and exploration that's out there. In this book, Milo actually sees a meteor falling to Earth and goes hunting for it, learning about space rocks along the way. Kids really enjoy the book and it gives them a few tips for hunting meteorites of their own. I think you'll really like it.